I'm Sonia Schaefer with Simply Charlotte Mason. I often get asked why I chose the Charlotte Mason method for homeschooling my children. One reason is that I love good books. And the more I thought about it, the more I realized that it was the living books, the literature, the stories of people's lives that I remembered most and that had affected me most as a person. I learned all sorts of life lessons and gained lots of ideas from, for example, the little house books. I pulled ideas about diligence and family and thrift and even good manners from Laura Ingalls' experiences in those books. And those ideas became a part of me. They helped shape who I am now as a person. But that's not all. I also realized that when I was reading a textbook for school and I came across information about the pioneers, I immediately related that information back to the ideas I already had in my mind from reading about Laura's life. To this day, I don't recall most of what I read in those textbooks. Even though I got excellent grades, which were the symbols that I knew the material, what I remembered is what I read in the living books. And once I realized that it was the literature, the living books, that had the most powerful effect on me, I wanted to tap into that power to educate my children, the power of good literature. Another reason I chose Charlotte Mason is because of her foundational principle that the child is a person. Body, soul, spirit, mind, will, emotions, all of these are included in that person, and we must respect and educate the child as a whole person, not just the mind. I have a special needs child, and I love how Charlotte's methods allow for and even embrace the differences between children. Her methods dovetail beautifully with the way that children naturally learn, and yet they're flexible and leave plenty of room for customizing to help each child grow at his or her own pace. Charlotte's emphasis on giving my child living ideas makes sure that I'm feeding my youngest's mind and shaping her life and encouraging her to keep growing as a person even as we progress in academics at her slower pace. And the beauty of it is that I can take those same methods and use them with the older children and make their education as rigorous as I need to. It is a whole person approach that encourages me to nourish each child as an individual, to focus on helping each one grow as a person. And to me, that is true education. Another reason I chose the Charlotte Mason approach is because I wanted my children to have a good combination of academics, the arts, and life experiences. And Charlotte Mason offers that balance. Mornings are filled with a wide range of intentional, well-thought-out studies that spread a feast of ideas through the good living books and the things around us. But we're done by noon with no homework. So the children have the afternoons free to explore, to play, to pursue their personal interests, and to dig into their hobbies. It's a wonderful balance of teacher-directed and student-led opportunities. Then, too, I was beginning to understand Charlotte's wisdom in having the children form their own relations with what they were learning, rather than my telling them what should be related in their minds. Let me explain. See, when I first heard about the Charlotte Mason method, we had already been homeschooling for a year. That was my oldest kindergarten year. And we had been using a unit study approach. Well, during that year, I discovered that unit studies were not a good fit for us. I was burned out from preparing and overseeing all of the hands-on projects. And on top of that, I discovered that my children could recall a couple of the projects that we had done during those months, but they didn't remember the point of those projects. It was kind of like remembering a commercial but not remembering the product or the business that the commercial is promoting. 
Well, they knew we had covered a doorway between our living room and dining room with paper and had drawn on it to make a triumphal arch. But they remembered nothing about the Roman emperor that we had studied and for whom the arch was built as a monument. Even though I had tried to connect those two things in their minds, they hadn't made that connection. And I realized the problem was that they had not formed their own personal relation with that emperor or his life. They had not gotten any ideas of their own from his life story. So when I heard that Charlotte Mason encouraged the children to make their own relations, rather than my trying to connect all the dots, I knew that this was the flavor for us. And in the years since then, I've seen for myself how effective it is for the child to make her own relations with what she's learning and to draw her own connections between them, because that's when learning really sticks. I could go on and on, but let me just mention two more quick reasons that I chose Charlotte Mason. First, her emphasis on habits. Charlotte understood the power of good habits in a person's life, and she encouraged parents to make habit training a part of the children's education as a person. But what is brilliant to me is how her school methods were designed to reinforce those good habits, too. For example, one of the reasons we can be done with schoolwork by noon is because her methods reinforce the habits of full attention and best effort. You can get a lot done in a short time if you give full attention and best effort. And then last, one of the main reasons I chose the Charlotte Mason approach for our homeschool is because I wanted my children to love learning for the rest of their lives. I know too many people who went through a traditional textbook-style education and couldn't wait for graduation because then they would be finished learning. Oh, to me that is so sad. I wanted my children to know the joy of learning, and it is a joy when you're learning through such wonderful books and allowed the time to marvel at God's creation around you. Such a rich life when we can keep that love of learning alive. So that's why I chose the Charlotte Mason Method. I settled in with that approach, which was a beautiful fit for me and my family. And we have thoroughly enjoyed our homeschool journey for 25 years and counting. If you'd like to learn more about Charlotte Mason and her wonderful methods, I encourage you to visit our website at simplycharlottemason.com. You'll find lots of free resources, including hundreds of blog posts, our weekly podcast, and a variety of free ebooks that you can download and enjoy. Thanks for joining me.